Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you guys how to make like a cool sleek microphone icon. Now this can obviously be used in um, podcasts, commentaries, anything. Um, the reason I got the idea for this was uh, for my own question and answer video. I um, saw a cool design for a microphone icon online. Played around with it, tried to recreate it myself and it came out really nicely. So. Um, I'll be showing you how to do it. Obviously, there's probably different ways of um, making the icon, but this is my own personal way of making the icon. So I'm going to start off here with a grey background. Now, the dimensions are 1,500 by 1,000. Obviously, it's up to you. If you want it to be bigger, make it bigger. Smaller, make it smaller. That's not in my control. And what you want to do first is you want to go down to your shapes and go on rounded rectangle tool. Now, I've got the radius set to 40, and I'm going to make the colour look a nice kind of palish blue I'm just gonna drag that out like that and actually see testing that on different sizes 40 is actually not quite enough of a curved radius so maybe I'm gonna change that to 80 and see how that comes out now that comes out a lot better so depending on size obviously you have to play around the radius but that will be the shape of the microphone now I've rasterized the layer it's up to you, you don't have to. What you want to do next is you want to go into your shape tools again and custom shape tool. Now I'm going to use the R um, registered logo just because it has a nice thick outline. So I'm going to place that in there like that. Again, rasterizing the layer. I'm just going to cut that kind of off there and obviously get rid of the R. So you should be left with something like that. Now what you want to do now is you want to get the pen tool, make sure it's selected on path, not shape. And what you want to do is you want to click on the left side, on the right side, and then you want to just drag down so it makes a nice curve. Now what you can do then is um, zoom in by pressing control and the plus icon, hold down control, and just move in this curve, uh, move in this path a little bit here. and then make it a little bit more like a straight curve okay then when you've done that you want to just select that again let's just get rid of that path you want to just select the bottom part of the path click around join it up to the other one and then right click and make selection no feather radius click OK and then just cut it straight out now, as you can see, that's got a bit of a sharp edge there. We don't really want that. So what we need to do is we need to maybe make that a little more. Go like that again. Make selection. And then cut. And that looks a lot better. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for tutorial purposes. It, you know, play around with it a little better if you want to get a bit more of a better curve. But that's basics of how you do it. Then what you want to do is just cut one end off, duplicate the layer. For some reason my keyboard key, keyboard shortcut isn't working. Then you want to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal, join it up there at the bottom, and then just merge those two layers. Now what you can do is you can transform it. So it's more like a kind of mic. Um, stand part there now if you don't want those to be curved you can obviously just cut those off and what you can do if you want to add curved edges a bit more accurately is just click on the shape tool again and go to the ellipse tool and make an ellipse that's about the same size as the um, the curved part on the bottom of the microphone, rasterize the layer, bring down the opacity so you can see where it joins up with the other layer. And what you want to do is you want to just curve that a bit, well you want to just rotate it because you want to get the right kind of curve because obviously it's not going up dead straight. And then you want to just bring back the opacity again. Then you can fiddle around with your transformation tool just to make it a bit more accurate. 
and that creates a nice curve. What you do want to do then is just duplicate the layer. And then go to edit, transform and flip horizontally. And then you get some nice curves on that shape. And that's an easier way of doing it. And then what you want to do is you want to use the rectangle tool. And you want to just create the stand by dragging that out there. And then rasterize that layer. Again, you don't have to rasterize it, but I think it looks better if you do. It's just easier to work with without having the um, outline of the shape. And then again, using the rounded rectangle tool, just create the base. And that's pretty much it for the outline of the microphone. Now, what I'll like to do then is just rust, uh, merge all those layers together. Maybe make it a bit smaller just to work with it for now. And then what you want to do is you want to again use the rounded rectangle tool and you want to create four separate rounded rectangles and drag them under each other like this on the left side of the microphone. We can do it on the right if you like. I just prefer working with the left side whenever I do any design work. I just think it looks a bit better. Try and make those as um, close to each other as possible as like the same amount and same gap between each one and once that's done again merge all those layers rasterize it if you like and then whilst holding control click on the little thumbnail there and go down to the previous layer and just press control and X to cut it from the shape and there you have the microphone um, kind of vector if you like it's not really a vector it's not an illustrator but you know what I mean and then what you want to do is you want to just double click to get on the blending options click on gradient overlay put the angle to about 130 blend mode to darken uh, multiply sorry bring down the opacity so it looks like that then what you want to do is add a white stroke quite large as well like this and again fill type gradient and change that from black to a grey just slightly darker than white but not too dark click OK and again angle around 130 then you can add a drop shadow if you like change distance, sorry about that, that's the plumber in the background and that's pretty much it about how to create the logo and that looks really nice on any kind of digital um, piece on a website or anything like that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this has been useful. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon in another tutorial. Bye bye.